This is Prosper Sustainably's ETEP training video on how to create an annual training plan within an ETEP strategic work plan spreadsheet. An annual training plan will help a tribal environmental department plan and keep track of trainings that will be or have been attended by staff members during a given year. Please note that this demonstration is being conducted using Microsoft Excel 2016. These steps and what you will see on your screen may be different for other versions of Microsoft Excel. Also, this video is meant to be used as guidance. There may be other ways to accomplish the intended results, or you may wish to customize the process to produce different information. I encourage you to customize this process to meet your needs. I am now going to walk through a hypothetical example to explain the process of creating an annual training plan. As you can see, we are currently on the objectives table of your ETEP strategic work plan. If you follow Prosper Sustainably's guidance, then you likely have objectives that refer to an annual training plan. I will quickly bring some up by using the categories. I'm selecting these and then clicking training. So here's one example under air. Obtain staff training to build skills and capacities relating to air resources program area objectives. See combined annual training plan. Under the general program area, you may also see an objective to develop a combined annual training plan for all ETEP objectives that include projected staffing, timing, costs, areas of focus, and other resource considerations. The training objectives for each program area are placeholders. You may not want to include every training that you are going to attend or may attend in your objectives table because there may be a lot and too much information in your objectives table can make it less usable. Therefore, I recommend creating a separate table on a separate tab with an annual training plan. In the standard templates, you will see a tab on the bottom that says training plan with a particular year in front of it. The fiscal year 16 to 17 is just an example. This represents the current year for which you are trying to create an annual training plan. This table includes several columns to keep track of important information relating to the trainings that staff members will attend or have already attended. In this table, you will insert the training title, the training topics, the training source, applicable program areas, training dates, registration due date, the training status, the staff members that will be attending the training, and if there are multiple staff members, you can have primary and secondary staff members, any external responsibilities if applicable, and using the enhanced spreadsheet, these responsibilities will be combined in this column. You can add notes, links to the training as well. I'm now going to add a few entries to show how you may use this table. So let's say you're planning for some upcoming trainings that multiple staff will be attending. Uh, so an example could be the 2017 EPA Annual Conference. Uh, this is a multimedia topic conference, so we'll type in multimedia. The source, let's say this is hosted by the EPA. Applicable areas, um, you can put in multiple. If you have the drop down, you can select that. The training dates, let's hypothetically say that it's going to be on August 14th, 2017. The registration due date, let's say is the 1st of July. The status, so at this point, let's say we're only in March right now. Uh, not started, so as you can see, there's some options registered. This is if you use the drop down menus, you can enter whatever you want for status. Um, in this case, you can include different staff responsibilities. So let's say this year that the environmental director is going to attend, and let's say that the air quality specialist will also be attending, and the environmental technician. All right, so there's no more responsibilities to add. You can add some notes if you want, you can add a link to where the conference is at as well. So now I'm going to quickly copy and paste some additional trainings to just further discuss. Okay, so the next one we have is a climate change vulnerability and risk assessment training. As you can see, the training topics are in column B. We have climate change and then illegal dumping and watershed-based planning. 
uh, financial, indoor air quality, multimedia, the training source, usually an agency or nonprofit. Applicable areas correspond to program areas. Training dates, registration due dates, the status. So a training, you could have registered for the training but not yet attended. You could have completed a training. Alternatively, you could have both completed and reported a training. Uh, again, these are just some options for drop downs. Uh, you may not have the drop downs programmed in, or you can select other options or add other options as well. And then the staff members who are going to be attending each training. If this is set up, then they usually will be programmed automatically into the combined responsibilities. So those formulas are now re-entered. So as you can tell, if you have this the enhanced version, if you enter a new staff member, it automatically populates over here. This is good if you want to just see one particular staff member. So you could say air quality specialist and just see the trainings the air quality specialist is attending. So undo that. And then you have notes and then a link. So that is how you set up an annual training table. And this is the end of this training video.